What's up, Video Creator? It's VideoMark.net. As promised, I'm going to sprinkle in a couple of Photoshop tutorials as well. Even as a video creator, you probably will be using Photoshop on a daily basis as well. So here's a quick one. As a beginner, when you try to draw straight lines, it might look pretty straightforward at first, but unfortunately it's kind of cluttered. It's not very obvious how to do this. And there are multiple ways to do that. So the first thing that you might be doing is you've seen that line tool somewhere. And then you might be thinking, okay, I draw the line and then I select the stroke over here. And now I want to draw another line, but Hey, wait a second. I want to continue that line. Doesn't work. Oh my God. Why does it not work? It's kind of tedious. Okay. This is perfect for just a straight line, but anything beyond that is not going to work really well. So the first thing that I want to show you is actually the good old brush tool. This right here and here as well, you might be thinking, Hmm, as usual, let me hold the shift key. And when you hold the shift key, yes, you can draw a straight line, but that only works for straight and horizontal lines, but not for other angles. Okay. So what you rather want to do in that case is actually just click and then hold the shift key like, so click, hold the shift key and then click again. And then Photoshop will draw a perfect straight line between these two points. And it doesn't stop here. You can actually continue this, uh, this line, click, hold, click again, keep holding the shift key and then keep clicking. And it will let you continuously draw straight lines. And that's how you'd actually draw a complex shape. Another way to do this is actually using the pen tool. And with the pen tool selected, click around in your object. Let's create this shape right here and hovering over the path with a right click, go to stroke path. And then this context menu will pop up and we're going to stick with the brush tool for now. And whatever you have set in the brush tool will now be selected to stroke this path. When I click, okay, boom, there is your line hit enter. Then the path is gone and that's your straight lines structure. The path, by the way, is not gone. It's still there. It's just not visible here anymore in the layers panel in the paths tab. Here's still your wor work path. And when I click that, this path will be available again. And maybe this path is actually perfect, but you just want to move this end point a little further, a little bit for that. Just select the direct selection tool, hover over this path, and then move this point over a little bit, head over to the layers, clear that layer one more time. And then when you right click and stroke, stroke it again, you're going to have your perfect straight lines. Okay. This is the other way to do it. And of course, when you think of the path tool, another way you could actually stroke selections. Now here's my selection. When I right click this one and here's a stroke option available as well, but the pop-up menu looks a little different than the other ones. You can set the width here, which whereas with the other tools actually determined by the brush tool and here you can set the width and the color, whether the stroke is located inside or outside or centered. When I say, okay, that will actually stroke the selection to achieve a similar effect. Just like we did with the pen tool, just select the polygonal lasso tool. And when I click around here, the same functionality as with the pen tool, when I create the selection here, when I right click now, same procedure, boom, here's our straight lines. Okay. As you've seen, it's not, not always the most obvious one, the line tool. Yes, it does what it says. It draws a line and you can modify this stroke width, but that's not what we want. In case we want to create continuous lines, we have multiple options, with the brush tool, click, hold shift, click again with the pen tool, click, click, and then right click stroke or with the polygonal lasso, create your structure and then right click and stroke that selection. All right. That's the options that are available to you in Photoshop to create straight lines. So I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please consider hitting the like button or leaving a comment. Let me know if you have any other ideas or uh, things that you want to know about Photoshop After Effects Illustrator Premiere Pro. And yeah, thank you for watching and I hope I'll see you on this channel in the next video. Oh,